sound check. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two. Loop system sound check. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Loop system sound check. One, two, three, four, five. Test in the loop. Okay, so that's the sound check now. All good? Perfect. Okay, well done. So if you keep that lead with you for these mics, then you've always got it.
and you can remove your masks, of course, while you're seated. But if you do move around at any time, please replace your mask. Anyway, uh, hello and welcome to the annual meeting of Colchester Borough Council. I'm, I'm, I'm Councillor Robert Davidson, the Mayor of the Borough of Colchester, and I'm chairing the meeting today. This meeting is being broadcast live over the internet and on the Council's YouTube channel and will also be available to watch afterwards. It's interesting to note that this is the first time for uh, 15 months that we've actually met physically, although it might not seem very physical with two metres apart, but uh, hopefully there's light at the end of the tunnel and we're, we'll soon be back to normal. Um, I want to confirm that all of us present in this room are adhering to the latest COVID government guidance. I can assure that those, those watching that the meeting room is set up to meet social distancing requirements. And whilst we are not wearing masks while seated, these will be worn if and when we leave our seats. We have undertaken a COVID risk assessment for this meeting. To begin, there's a couple of matters of housekeeping. Should the alarm sound, please evacuate using the emergency exit and assemble at the skate park. Leisure World staff will be on hand to direct you. If necessary, we will look to have breaks at approximately 90 minutes, but I'm hoping this meeting today will be relatively short. I now invite the Reverend Terry Walker to say a prayer, who is substituting for my chaplain, Reverend Amanda Elms. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, good morning. Let us pray. As we meet together this morning for this annual meeting, where a new leader for the council will be named and announcements for cabinet members, panels and committees made, we give thanks for the work of the outgoing councillors and welcome the incoming councillors. We give you thanks for giving the gifts and skills which you use for the service of this great body. Please guide us through your Holy Spirit that we may be wise and informed, make informed decisions. Help us dis to discuss bef before us, issues before us with courtesy, truth and mutual respect and grant that all who are representatives of this community and its people will seek to serve the common good through him who came not to serve, but to be, but to serve Jesus Christ our Lord. During this pandemic, we give thanks for the con continued rollout of the vaccine in our borough. We continue to remember and pray for all those who have been affected adversely, both financially and physically, for those whose livelihood has come to an end, for those who are vulnerable physically, mentally and emotionally, and for those who have lost loved ones due to COVID-19. We give thanks for our Mayor, Councillor Robert Davidson, and all of the members of this council Please bless them with all that they do in and for this borough. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Walker. Uh, Reverend Walker will not be staying for the whole meeting. Um, I think that would be purgatory, so um, he will be allowed to leave. Um, and out of interest, he's also the chaplain for the St. Helena Hospice uh, and, and else, elsewhere. So uh, he's a... Uh, very much a community-minded uh, vicar. Um, as you know, and as I said earlier, the last time we met was the 13th of February two 2020, 15 months ago. Um, since then, the COVID 
pandemic has affected everybody in one way or another. But obviously, we've, while we give thanks to the army and the CBC staff and the NHS in particular for all the hard work and extra work that they've had to put into it, um, we want to remember those that have been uh, very badly affected, those families that have lost loved ones and those people that have got the long COVID and are still suffering. So I invite you to stand and have a minute's silence in memory of those people. Thank you very much. Um, uh, do we have any apologies for today's meeting? None have been received and no hands up, so none received. Thank you. Um, any declarations of interest on anything on the agenda? No, no hands up. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have one person, the High Steward, Sir Bob Russell, who'd like to have his say. Uh, Sir Bob, you've got three minutes and a bell at two minutes. Sir, that you we've had a public forum since you became mayor, so it's the first opportunity I have had to congratulate you on becoming mayor of this ancient borough, and your pride is obviously increased because the badge and chain of office you are wearing was worn by your grandfather 67 years ago. So not only are we making history with the annual meeting being held in Charter Hall, the first time in 120 years away from the town hall, my research suggests that you are the first grandson of a mayor of Colchester. In congratulating you all, I want to pay tribute to former mayor Nick Cope, and you two will be asterisk mayors, because on the list of mayors in the mayor's parlour, There'll have to be an explanation as to what happened to the mayorality during the years um, 2019 to 2022. I'd like to welcome the, well, first of all, congratulate the nine councillors in those wards where the residents had the good sense to re elect you, to welcome the eight new councillors, seven of whom brand new one a retread but nevertheless welcome to all another little bit of history is the first time ever every single county councillor from the borough of colchester is also a borough councillor so roughly 20 percent of the borough council councillors are also county councillors so unprecedented double hatted there Mr. Mayor, you have my assurance that I shall be supporting you as I've supported all the last 50 mayors and I shall be supporting all future mayors. And I hope that the councillors individually and collectively will be supporting you and all future mayors. And the test will be at your civic service when I hope there'll be a good attendance for you. So I conclude, Mr. Mayor, on the only element possibly of controversy is that I hope the cabinet system 
will be abolished. I believe that cabinet systems are not good for local democracy, irrespective of which political parties um, are, form that coalition or on their own. And I say that as somebody who's a former leader of the council in a committee system. Committees do work. You have committees for planning, local plan, scrutiny and licensing. And I believe that all 51 councillors have an equal mandate. They have an equal mandate from their electorate and all 51 should be involved in the decision-making process and not power concentrated on the few. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sir Bob. Uh, your, your comments are noted and thank you for your uh, good, well, good wishes. Um, like you, I'm, a mem I'm one of those members that remember the committee system and we certainly had to, uh, were involved in far more decision-making as, as normal, normal councillors. But uh, the government's imposed this cabinet system and uh, uh, I, 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 it will be up to the cabinet to recommend a change and, and the full council at a later date if they, want, if they so wish. So um, anyway, thank you for your comments and in your high steward role, we will uh, continue to uh, listen to your advice. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, we now have to move motion A, that the minutes of the meeting held on the 1st of February 2021 and the 24th of February 21 be confirmed as a correct record. Has anybody got any ob observations or objections to those minutes? Agreed. All agreed? Marvellous. Unanimous. Long may that continue. <laughs> um, Mayor's announcements, uh, I, I have a, f a couple of announcements and uh, Sir Bob referred to the first one. We have a civic service in Peldon Church on Sunday, July the 18th, I believe it is. Um, so you're all very welcome there. There, are, there is room for all of you and your, and your uh, partners. And um, hopefully if the weather's as good as it is today, we'll have a jolly nice time. So um, I look forward to seeing you there. And also our first fundraising event, uh, and obviously <laughs> with the COVID, nothing has been possible in the first six months. Uh, but on July the 3rd, Saturday, July the 3rd, uh, we're having our uh, annual Peldon Garden Party with music until 11 o'clock at night. You bring, bring your own picnic uh, and um, enjoy them dancing on the lawn uh, all evening. There is tentage available if, you, if the heavens open. But uh, we welcome you supporting my charities and attending that event. Um, that will be circulated or emailed to you with the details later. Um, we now come to item six, appointment of leader of the council. And I'm inviting Councillor Laws to move motion B up to five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that Councillor Paul Dundas be appointed as the leader of Colchester Council for the remainder of the period of his term of office as Councillor. I will be brief. I want to say that I believe Councillor Dundas is a man of immense integrity. He is a man, and I, you are a man, I just want to check you identify as a man, great, great. Um, you, Paul Dundas is a man of immense integrity. He is unafraid to roll up his sleeves. He gets things done. He's the kind of guy that you want in a committee with you, but he's also the kind of guy that you'd share a beer with in a pub. Um, I'm, I'm proud to call Paul my friend. I believe he will serve this borough diligently, professionally, and be a great ambassador uh, and serve us all. And so I urge you to please support Councillor Paul Dundas as the leader of this council. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I wish to move a secondary amendment. Councillor Fox, continue. Uh, in the local elections on the 7th of May, the majority of voters in Colchester rejected the Conservatives. For years they've talked about making gains, only needing a seat here or three there to take control of the council. On the 7th of May, while Conservatives made gains across the country, in Colchester they stood still. Indeed, many voters specifically voted for the best placed party or candidate whether a Labour, Lib Dem, Green or Independent, to beat the Tories. From across the borough, Old Heath, to Shrub End, to Castle, to Highwoods. 
for 13 years, residents knew who to vote for in order to deliver a progressive council in Colchester, and that council delivered very much. As a former deputy leader of the Conservative group once said, for democracy to work, the majority have to be heard. Well, the majority voted against the Tories, and so it is incumbent upon us to vote against the Tories today. Um, this is not about opposition for opposition's sake, but it is because we believe politics is about choices and priorities, and my priorities, our priorities are different to the Tories. And if we are not successful, we will be ready to take control when the time comes. And so I move a secondary amendment, amending the name of Paul Dundas for Mark Corey. Thank you, thank you Councillor Fox. Uh, Councillor Laws, do you accept the secondary amendment? With a heavy heart and much consideration, I'm afraid not. Okay, thank you. In that case, uh, I'd like to ask the monitoring officer, can, uh, Mr. Weavers, to explain what comes next. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. So we have a secondary amendment put to the motion that to Councillor Laws has uh, moved. So you now have to make a decision whether you want to treat the secondary amendment as a main amendment. So what that means is if you decide to vote for it as a main amendment, it will be subject to debate by everybody. Or if you decide you'd rather have it as a secondary amendment, only Councillor Fox and Councillor Laws will be able to speak on that uh, amendment. So, Mr Mayor, you need to put that to the meeting, whether or not it wishes to treat the secondary amendment as a main amendment. Uh, yes, Councillor Scott Patel. Can I just um, ask, when people are speaking, can they speak directly into the microphone? and not look around, otherwise I lose you. And I wanted to hang on every word that Councillor Fox said. Thank and you. Mr. Weavers. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll try and remember, thank you. Um, is everybody absolutely clear that we're now voting whether we accept the secondary amendment as the main amendment or not? So you either support the secondary amendment or you vote against it. I'd like to call for a named vote, please, Mr. Mayor. Second. Okay. Um, we will not have a name vote unless you have a seconder. I'm happy to second that. I'm happy to second that. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, we now have a name vote supporting the secondary amendment or against it. Mr Mayor, just to be clear then, so you're voting on whether or not you wish to accept the secondary amendment as a main amendment, yes or no. Mm -hmm. Councillor Barber. Against. Against. Councillor Barton? For. For. Councillor Bentley? Against. Against. Councillor Bourne? For. For. Councillor Burrows? For. For. Councillor Buston? Against. Against. Councillor Chapman? Against. Against. Councillor Chillingworth? Against. Against. Councillor Chua? For. For. Councillor Coleman? For. For. Councillor Cope? Four, Councillor Corey. Four. Four, Councillor Cox. Four. Four, Councillor Crow. Yes. Against, Councillor Dundas. Against. Against, Councillor Ellis. Against. Against, Councillor Fox. Four. Four, Councillor Gocha. Four. Four, Councillor Goss. Four. Four, Councillor Hagen. Against. Against, Councillor Harris. Four. For Councillor Hayter. Against. Against Councillor Hazel. Against. Against Councillor Hogg. For. For Councillor Jowers. Against. Against Councillor King. For. For Councillor Laws. Against. Against Councillor Leverdale. Against. Against Councillor Lilly. For. For Councillor Lissimore. Against Councillor Loveland. Against, Against Councillor Luxford Vaughan. For. For Councillor McLean. Against. Against Councillor Mannion. Against. Against Councillor McCarthy. For. For Councillor Moore. 
against Councillor Nissen. Four, Councillor Beverly Oxford. Against. Against, Councillor Gerard Oxford. Against. Against, Councillor Philip Oxford. Against. Against, Councillor Pearson. Four. Four, Councillor Scordis. Four. Four, Councillor Scott Patel. Four. Four, Councillor Tate. Against. Against, Councillor Warns. Four. Four, Councillor Whitehead. Four. Four, Councillor Willits. Against. Against, Councillor Wood. Against. Against, Councillor Julian. Four. Four, the Deputy Mayor. Four. Four, and the Mayor. Uh, I'd like to make a statement. Uh, I'd like to state that the Mayor and the Deputy Mayor historically have been non-political, uh, but as the Deputy Mayor has voted one way, uh, and because the proposed administration has one more councillor than the others, I will vote against. Thank you, Mr Mayor. So the result of the vote is 25 voted for, 26 voted against. So we treat the secondary amendment as a secondary amendment and only Councillor Fox and Councillor Laws can speak on it for up to three minutes each. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Councillor Fox first. Right, Councillor Fox, three minutes. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I'm happy to move straight to the vote. Uh, Councillor Laws, are you happy to go to the vote? Agreed. Okay. Uh, so we now have a straight vote. Mr Mayor, we now have a, another vote, this time on the secondary amendment, whether you accept it or not. I would like to ask for a named vote, Mr Mayor. That is seconded. Okay, a uh, named vote it is. Okay, here we go. Councillor Barber. Against. Against. Councillor Barton. For. For. Councillor Bentley. Against. Against. Councillor Bourne. For. For. Councillor Burrows. For. For. Councillor Buston. Against. Against. Councillor Chapman. Against. Against. Councillor Chillingworth. Against. Against. Councillor Chua. For. For. Councillor Coleman. For. For. Councillor Cope. For. For. Councillor Corey. For. For. Councillor Cox. For. For. Councillor Crow. Against. Councillor Dundas. Against. Councillor Ellis. Against. Councillor Fox. For. Councillor Gocha. For. For. Councillor Goss. For Councillor Hagen. Against. Against Councillor Harris. For. For Councillor Hayter. Against. Against Councillor Hazel. Against. Against Councillor Hogg. For. For Councillor Jowers. Against. Against Councillor King. For. For Councillor Laws. Against. Against oh. Councillor Leverdale. Against. Against. Councillor Lilly. For. For. Councillor Lissimore. Against. Against. Councillor Loveland. Against. Against. Councillor Luxford Vaughan. For. For. Councillor McLean. Against. Against. Councillor Mannion. Against. Against. Councillor McCarthy. For. For. Councillor Moore. Against. Against. Councillor Nissen. For. For Councillor Beverly Oxford. Against. Against Councillor Gerard Oxford. Against. Against Councillor Philip Oxford. Against. Against Councillor Pearson. For. For Councillor Scordis. For. For Councillor Scott Patel. For. For Councillor Tate. Against. Against Councillor Warns. For. For Councillor Whitehead. For. For Councillor Willits. Against. Against Councillor Wood. Against. Against Councillor Julian. For. For the Deputy Mayor. For. For and the Mayor. Against. Against. Thank you. Mr Mayor, that, that is lost. There's 25 for and 26 against. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so, therefore, the main amendment is already debate on that? Or is that now? Straight, straight to the vote. 
straight to the vote. I'd like to ask for a named vote. Okay, again, Mr. Mayor. And the seconder? Seconded. Seconded. Right. Um, right, a named vote, please. For the, for the main uh, motion. Okay. We're voting now on motion B that Councillor Paul Dundas be elected leader of the council. Councillor Barber. For. For. Councillor Barton. Against. Against. Councillor Bentley. For. For. Councillor Bourne. Against. Against. Councillor Burrows. Against. Against. Councillor Buston. For. For. Councillor Chapman. For. For. Councillor Chillingworth. For. For. Councillor Chua. Against. Against. Councillor Coleman. Against. Against. Councillor Cope. Against. Against. Councillor Corey. Against. Against. Councillor Cox. Against. Against. Councillor Crow. For. For. Councillor Dundas. For. For. Councillor Ellis. For. For. Councillor Fox. Against. Against. Councillor Gocha. Against. Against. Councillor Goss. Against. Against. Councillor Hagen. For. For. Councillor Harris. Against. Against. Councillor Hayter. For. For. Councillor Hazel. For. For. Councillor Hogg. Against. Against. Councillor Jowers. For. For. Councillor King. Against. Against. Councillor Laws. For. For. Councillor Leatherdale. For. For. Councillor Lilly. Against. Against. Councillor Lissimore. For. For. Councillor Loveland. For. For. Councillor Luxford Vaughan. Against. Against. Councillor McLean. For. For. Councillor Mannion. For. For. Councillor McCarthy. Against. Against. Councillor Moore. For. For. Councillor Nissen. Against. Against. Councillor Beverly Oxford. For. For. Councillor Gerard Oxford. For. For. Councillor Philip Oxford. For. For. Councillor Pearson. Against. Against. Councillor Scordis. Against. Against. Councillor Scott Boutel. Against. Against. Councillor Tate. For. For. Councillor Warns. Against. Against. Councillor Whitehead. Against. Against. Councillor Willits. For. For. Councillor Wood. For. For. Councillor Julie Young. Against. Against. The Deputy Mayor. Not voting. Not voting. The Deputy uh, and the Mayor, sorry. Abstain. Abstain. Thank you, Mr Mayor. We have 25 votes in favour, 24 against, and two, two abstentions. The motion is carried. So, Councillor Dundas, uh, you are the new leader of the Council for the current year. Uh, would you like to speak? And perhaps uh, delegate your, um, uh, announce your delegations. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Mayor. If I, if I may speak for a moment, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Um, and thank you for the opportunity to say a few words. Um, they will be a few, I can assure you all. Um, it's obviously an honour to be elected or, as leader of this council, and uh, thank you to all of you who have placed your trust in me. I am, of course, proud to be the first Conservative leader of Colchester Borough since 2008 but I'm conscious that I do not lead a Conservative administration. It is a joint administration made up of different groups, and I shall lead it as such. But before I think I, I turn to the future, I think it's important I put on record my thanks to Councillor Corey for his leadership of the Council over the last three years. I may not always agree with his politics, but I've never been in any doubt about his dedication to the task and the sincerity of his actions. In the last 15 months, he has led the council through what I think most would agree is the most extraordinary period of history for this borough, the country, and the wider world in our lifetimes. I would like to say thank you for that, and indeed extend those thanks to all the other portfolio holders for their work. We may not always like to admit it to ourselves, but I do actually think there is still more that unites us across this chamber than divides us. 
The Conservative and Highlands Independents both feel the Council needs a change of direction of travel. Refocused on engaging with our communities more and concentrating on the things they really care about, rather than sometimes what councillors care about. We will maintain an ambitious capital and regeneration programme, but will seek to engage with residents and ensure that they have their input rather than fly in the face of public opinion. We will re-examine and set new criteria for several proposed schemes. We will do everything we can to find a better solution for Middlewick. We will review the waste service to ensure it is working as well as possible. We will support the development of neighbourhood plans in non-parished areas where there is a wish to have them. We will work constructively with County Council to the benefit of Colchester where we can. We will empower ward councillors to set policies which are right for their ward rather than impose. We will make rolling out the new technology CCTV, CCTV system across the borough, not just the town centre, a priority. And we will continue to invest in our social housing and continue the building and purchase of new properties. Above all, we will try and put Colchester above politics. And yes, that means at some point, we will no doubt be critical of both the government and even sometimes the county council. Over the coming weeks, we will set out the detail of our policies, and I'm sure Councillor Fox will be delighted to know that he'll be able to have a tick box of 20 things to tick off, like a sort of policy advent calendar. Uh, I'm sure I'll get to Christmas quite soon, um, but they will be set out in, in detail over the next few weeks. I have a great deal of faith and confidence in my fellow cabinet members, who have a great mix of experience and skills. This morning is about ceremony, and how good it is to be back with some proper ceremony which we can almost recognise as normal. But this afternoon, the hard work starts. I and all my colleagues will do our best. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much, Councillor Dundas. And um, yes, uh, Colchester wishes you well and uh, looks forward to uh, seeing improvements. Um, Item 8, appointments of panels, committees and subcommittees, Councillor Dundas, to move Motion C. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Uh, agenda Item 8, Motion C, I move that, in accordance with the provisions of the Local Government and Housing Act 1989, the number of seats, group representation and membership of the Environment and Sustainability Panel, Licensing Committee, Local Plan Committee, Planning Committee and Scrutiny Panel, including the Crime and Disorder Committee, for the ensuing municipal year, be as circulated at this meeting, with the exception of a change to the planning committee where Councillor B. Oxford is substituted for Councillor P. Oxford. Item two, in accordance with the provisions of section 17 of the Local Government and Housing Act 1989, the appointments of the Governance and Audit Committee and Policy Panel for the ensuing municipal year shall not be on a group basis and membership shall be as circulated at this meeting. Part three, that the membership of the Independent Remuneration Panel be as circulated at this meeting and part four, the revised terms of reference for the policy panel be agreed. Thank you very much. Do we, we don't vote on that? Yes, well, yes. Um, sorry, are you all agreeable to that? Uh, I, I don't see any dissent. Okay, thank you. Agreed. Thank you. Right. Item... Item 9, a motion of thanks to retiring councillors. And I note that we've got Councillor Higgins, uh, Councillor um, Davis, and Councillor um, Elliot from Tiptree, and Councillor Arnold as well. Thank you. Uh, so I call on Councillor Barber to move that. Thank you, Miss. Do you want me to sit down? Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the Council hereby records its grateful thanks to former Councillors Arnold, Barlow, Davies, Elliott, Higgins, Jarvis, Liddy and Fiona McLean for the public service rendered by them to this borough during their period of office as a councillor and instructs that a transcript of this resolution be furnished to them under the common seal of the borough as a permanent record of the appreciation of the Council. Uh, Mr. Mayor, is it okay if I just say a few words about some of my colleagues who have retired at, at the recent election? Um, in particular from my group, and I'm sure others from other groups will speak uh, highly about their colleagues. But in particular, Councillor Arnold, Davies, Elliot, Jarvis, and Councillor McLean, 
I had the pleasure of working with all of them over the last few years um, in various different roles and committees uh, as neighbouring councils, and it was always a pleasure to see their dedication uh, to, their, uh, to their local area. Uh, Councillor Arnold, I did weigh up after doing all the named votes whether to thank him really, because that was quite a stressful endeavour going first uh, uh, in the named votes, but he has been a councillor for 25 years, and uh, in my uh, new role on the, on the, on the county, I, I've had the pleasure of working with him over the last few weeks in his continued role as a parish councillor, and make no doubts that he is continuing his dedication to public service uh, by filling up my email box on a regular basis. Then Councillor Davies, who was a great mentor to me when I first joined the council and was deputy leader of the Conservative group. I was uh, only 21 when I first got elected and she was very much uh, a close friend and uh, continues to be uh, a close friend and all, thanks to her for all the work she personally gave to me as well as chairing the scrutiny panel and holding the administration's feet to the fire on numerous occasions. Councillor Elliott also had 25 years of service and I believe he was mayor of the borough too, and uh, he, he was a dedicated uh, uh, you know, representative of Tiptree, obviously a bit further out than the town centre, reminding us all, of course, that our borough is varied from the urban to the rural, which I'm sure this new administration will, of course, be aware of. Councillor Jarvis, in particular, I was a ward colleague with Councillor Jarvis, and he represented uh, a few wards in his time as a councillor, and he was a great uh, friend and colleague in our ward and uh, was a big advocate of supporting the local communities through the funds such as the locality budget and promoting localism uh, as well as his uh, dedication on the planning committee supporting residents and this borough. Councillor Fiona McLean decided not only to get elected once, much to her pleasure, she also got elected a second time as well. And I think that was a testament to the, uh, the hard work she threw herself into for Stanway when it was a pleasant surprise for her, I'm sure when she got elected for the first time in 2015. And such was her dedication to the role, she turned that marginal seat and defended it uh, when she had to top, she topped the poll in 2016 as well. So in such a short time, she gained such a stellar reputation that she turned a surprise win into topping that poll. So I think that was a marvelous effort and testament to her capabilities. We wish them all well for the future. I had the pleasure of working with uh, Councillor uh, Liddy on, on many planning matters and he was very supportive of me right until uh, the recent election where he was uh, supportive of a call and I did that I was very grateful for. Councillor Barlow I worked with on the local plan committee and while we certainly had fervent disagreements on there, he chaired it aptly and made sure everyone's views could be considered. Councillor Higgins too, I had the pleasure of sitting next to her at the mayor making ceremony which of course very sadly won't be going ahead tonight and we got to know each other over one, two or maybe three bottles of wine on those pleasant afternoons. So to all of the councillors that are retiring, I wish them well, their families well and best wishes for the future and to thank them, I mean they were all re-elected some numerous times which shows uh, the appreciation of their community to the work they do and I think probably re-election is the greatest uh, example of the work that any of us do and I think that's shown by the length of time that all of these councillors have served their wards and the borough. Thank you Mr Mayor. Thank you very much. Uh, our next speaker is Councillor Lissamore. Uh, thank you Mr Mayor. Uh, I just wanted to say a few words um, about our retiring councillors uh, to thank them all for the incredible service that they've done over the last few years. Um, <clears throat> excuse me but I'd like particularly to um, so give a about uh, Duchess Dowager of Prettygate, the former councillor Beverly Davis. Um, I first met Beverly as a, a funding expert when she came to Westlands Country Park when we were opening it up to the public. She helped us set up a residence group, which we both still um, we're both still great friends with, and raised over 150,000 pounds to do with the park what residents actually wanted. I won't forget the Royal Wedding, where the local residents that Beverly had put together took their fence panels out and we had a massive party between us all. That was what Beverly did. She pulled us together and she helped progress the Pretty Gay community. She always has a can-do attitude. It's not, we can't, it's, let's get this done. She rolled her sleeves up and we have her to thank for the painting of the road name signs. A resident re recently asked us to paint one outside her house. And this was because many, many years ago, her husband had done it. He'd since sadly passed away. 
and she hated the idea of it deteriorating. So that's what Beverly's influence has made to individuals in Prettygate, as well as to the community as a whole. We had the Snow Watch Patrol. We had great fun clearing snow around at Prettygate shops. We had great fun representing the residents of Prettygate. Um, she has introduced me to music festivals, and we've had a lot of fun at those. We shall continue. Prettygate shall not forget her. She will still continue uh, to be asked to help us, especially with funding. But I'd like to thank her for all her hard work in the last few years, and we will miss her. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Lismore. Uh, the next speaker is uh, Councillor Chapman. Thank you, Mr Mayor. If I may slightly digress to begin with, um, I, this, this meeting should, of course, have been in the, as, um, an occasion of grandeur in the, in the Moot Hall um, with the mayor-making ceremony as well as the annual council meeting and the stirring notes in the Moot Hall organ, of course, which I must, must mention. But sadly, it's a bit different this year due to the pandemic. So instead, I, I just want to wish you all the very best. I think you've had sort of a six-month gestation period as, as uh, mayor, and I suppose you could say you're about to go forward to the rebirth of our first citizen. So I do hope that for any soon 12 months, uh, a brilliant time for you and Liz. I'm sure they will be. But if I may to re return to motion um, D, I'm not a regular contributor to, to this slot at the annual meeting. But maybe as I approach my retirement, I'm trying to, to get a few bonus points in there. By, by speaking today. I do want to say a few words really about Christa Arnold, but first, very briefly, I must just mention three other retirees from across the political spectrum. 39 years ago, in, 19, in 1982, I attended my first mayor-making as a councillor. And also there was new, new elected Tiptree, Tiptree Ratepayers Association councillor, John Elliott, who of course represented the TRA, as we knew it, before during Conservative benches. Always a stalled advocate for Tiptree. Theresa Higgins, I've enjoyed Theresa's company on various occasions over the years, and of course, as some may know, we do share a birthday, although I, I did appear many years before she did, of course. Finally, can I just mention Cyril Liddy? We've spent um, some time over the last few years on the Colchester Borough Homes Board, where I've enjoyed his company and common sense approach on many issues. Best wishes to them all and all the other retirees. But back to Krista, if I may. Krista was first elected in 1995, which is when I think we first met. We really then began, to began a double act. Within a few years, we became my deputy leader of the Conservative group when I was leader. And we served as the first uh, two Conservatives, <coughs> two Liberal and two Labour, in what I tend to call the Grand Coalition Cabinet of 2000 to 2001. And it was a very successful uh, Cabinet, as I'm sure the Deputy Mayor would agree. Um, we shared a ward, Christopher and I, from 2001, called Fordham and Stir initially, and we continued that um, when Peter Chillingworth joined us five years ago in rural north. Christopher has had, held various cabinet po posts in subsequent Conservative administrations, um, and it was always associated with high woods, high highways and with waste. I think um, also we do tend to associate him also, of course, with... Uh, singing and, and music and that sort of thing as well, of course. Christopher, as, as has been said by uh, Councillor Barber, is a very hard-working representative of Castle. Uh, well, I don't want, I can't read my writing here, Chairman. Uh, of Great Hawksley. And he actually created a neighbourhood plan, really before a neighbourhood plan were a twinkle in Eric Pickle's eye. And the resultant development delivered a new, much-needed village hall for Great Hawksley and a recreation field. And the work he, he started and continues to, to, to do in the, on the Parish Council uh, will continue with the development site to the east of what, the A134, which should provide a scout hut and allotments and a contribu contribution to a cycle track into the town for the village. He has a formidable, formidable recollection of people, places, debates. This is useful, but it is a might intimidating at times for Mayor. He tells me he's going to do some travelling but also tells me he will be back soon, maybe. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, thank you, Councillor Chapman. Uh, and the next speaker is uh, Councillor Hazel. Sorry, uh, Mr. Mayor. 
it's words that are being said about our fellow councillors. We're going to lose so many of them this time. Those on my side, Councillor Beverly Davis, Brian Jarvis, John Elliott, Christopher Arnold and Fiona McLean have been great colleagues and very good friends and I feel truly blessed that I have had their wise counsel and their support over all the time that I have been a council.